Hello, and welcome back to the channel. I am the Sunny Machine, and I am going to be continuing my series on Streamer.bot. Today we're going to be talking about the channel point redemptions on Twitch, and how you can more easily manage them using Streamer.bot. So as you can see, I have a couple of channel point redemptions that I created for an example for this video. On Twitch, I'm going to show you when you open Streamer.bot, we have these same channel point redemptions available. But what you'll notice is, at the very end, you're going to see this tab that says Owned, and it says No. So I'm going to double click on this, and you'll see that I can't change any of these settings. This is because Streamer.bot doesn't technically own the channel point redemption. In order for Streamer.bot to own the channel point redemption, the reward has to be made using Streamer.bot. If you have a bunch of channel point redemptions that you have already made on Twitch, this can be a little bit inconvenient if you want to switch over to using Streamer.bot for managing and controlling all of your rewards. There's a very simple way to remedy this situation. What you're going to want to do is right click on your channel point redemption that you had created on Twitch and say duplicate. This will make a copy of it and you'll have two now. If you go over to Twitch, you'll see that you now have a second one. Back in Streamer.bot, just duplicate all of your channel point redemptions that you had made on Twitch so that you end up with a version that Streamer.bot owns and has full control of. You'll notice now if I go into the copy, I can now enable, pause, rename, change the price. Everything that was grayed out before is now available to us in Streamer.bot. What you can then do is go into Twitch and remove your original ones. That should leave you with only your copies from streamer.bot. Once we're down to just the copied versions, we can easily go in, edit them, and just remove the word copy from the title. This will also rename them on Twitch, as you can see here. Now you have full control over channel point rewards through streamer.bot. And you can still go in and edit them on Twitch, no problem. But you need to have them created by streamer.bot in order for streamer.bot to have full control over the settings. The only settings you can't change on streamer.bot would be the icons and graphics that you can manually upload on the website. Everything else is controllable through streamer.bot. This is ideal for quickly managing and adding new rewards through streamer.bot so that you don't have to go to your dashboard and mess around with the Twitch backend. Only when you want to customize the graphics that appear on Twitch for the user. The way to add brand new channel point is right click in the empty space and click add. Title it, set up all the settings that you wish. Once you have it set up in streamer.bot, you will see it on Twitch. You can now add custom actions that you set up. Check out the video previous to this if you want to know how to set up actions. But you can control things like OBS and scenes. You can have media play, graphics, all kinds of things, whatever you want to have happen. And you can attach that action, whatever actions you want here. You can customize these by group. We can call this streamer bot. And now we have a custom group for organization purposes. Setting up streamer.bot for channel point rewards is fairly straightforward. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below. I'm going to try to make a bunch of shorter videos on streamer.bot like this that just kind of focus in on one thing and really get to the point. The first video in this series was quite long. We did a general overview. So if you are interested at all about seeing everything StreamerBot kind of has to offer as a general overview and a quick setup on how to get actions connected to your OBS for controlling things, go check out that first video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.